Oh, hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to a game called Dyson Sphere Program. This one's interesting. It's a little bit like Satisfactory and a lot of other space games where you go off to a distant planet and you build up some sort of really, really neat, uh, like, base system going on with automated mining and stuff like that, processing, assembling, all that cool stuff. Uh, developers sent me a key. It's out on Steam and I thought we would play it today because, well, frankly, it looks pretty cool. I did try it a little bit and it's, uh, different. First off, we have to pick our star that we're gonna go around. I don't really know the difference in them, so I'm just gonna pick this blue one because it looks good. Never mind, I can't change the start system. Start game. So there we are. My name's Icarus, nice to meet you. We get to go around this beautiful little planet here and uh, start mining up a bunch of the resources. There's rocks for us to grab. We can also grab the copper veins and the iron over there too. Ooh, that was titanium, nice. I can even get this thing. Yeah, the space capsule. We can delete that. Thank you, Tutorial Bot. I appreciate you. There is something very satisfying about going to distant planets and harvesting all of their trees. I don't know what it is. Destroying environments are fun. Best part is it's fuel, so we can throw that in our engine and burn it. So we're going to start off with our first research here. We're going to activate this. Electromagnetism gives us the ability to make wind turbines and Tesla towers and even mining machines. But we're going to need to build up some of these. Only 10 of them, so I'll just start producing them. And the game automatically queues up a lot of these things, which is really nice, actually. So cool, we got our first gathering machine, the mining machine. If I turn this bad boy, you can we can start getting some stuff. Rotate Look at that. And then the little the robot minutes. flies out and grabs it. How cool is that? We're also going to put down... Would you stop talking, robot dude? I'm trying to explain. I don't need you to explain right now. Okay, what I do need to do is build a Tesla tower and the wind turbines. We're going to put this kind of equidistance between these two. Nah, I'll start it right there. And then I'll put the Tesla tower over to this. So check it out. Hey, we're actually mining up some iron ore. That's amazing. So I'm going to build up another one of these right away. I'm just going to produce that and it automatically queues everything. How neat is that? I'm supposed to say that's pretty neat because now we have one. It's pretty cool. Now they get thrown in our inventory. We can change these and put them down and then we can grab a bunch of the copper and then we'll bring the power over to the copper dude. Yes, check it out. Now we're Done gathering copper and iron at the same time. So you know what I like is basic logistics. That's right, conveyor belts, sorters, and even some storage facilities. Activate that, then I'll queue up 10 of these and 10 of these. Ta-da, basics logistics is completed. So the next thing I'm gonna do is metallurgy because we're gonna need that smelter. And while we're researching that, let's go ahead and put in some conveyor belts. Look at them go! <laughs> There's all my iron. That's so cool. It's actually stuck on there because I don't have anything else built yet. I can put it into a storage. All right, let's hook up this guy to that one. There you go. And those are all going to go together. Beautiful. And now since we do have that smelter, I'm just going to put that right there. And I'm hoping this works. So check this out. There we go. We're going to make the smelter there. Oh, we're out of power. I should probably increase the power load. More power. Uh, too close to another wind turbine. Well, we'll just shove this one in right over here. There you go, bud. Look at it go. Ah, it's working. And I'm going to try this out. Just putting this guy down here. And then we'll connect it with conveyor oh, belts. A story. Look at him going. It's amazing. I know we're still running out of power, but that's fine because we're making the things. We're making all of the conveyors. We're putting in the, the planks, the ingots. It's looking great. We got a little first storage base made up. Now check this out. We can make the thermal power plant. So the next thing I need to build is this beautiful research lab. I'll be honest, I don't actually know what this thing does. I'm just gonna build one because it looks cool. Uh-huh, so I get to produce these things. Oh, and then I have to insert the magnetic coils and the circuit boards into here to make them. All right, so I needed to back up again. I need to build these electromagnetic matrices. Now those take the magnetic coils plus the circuit boards. Magnetic coils are two of the, the iron donuts plus an ingot, which makes this have to take the metal donut. All right, so that's good. They go into there, produces the metal donut, this, the copper ingots being built there, and then I get to make an assembler. The assembling machine is gonna take ingots from both of those, bring it into there, and then into that. Hopefully, anyway. <laughs> uh, I haven't actually done this yet, so I'm not sure if it'll work. I think it will, because I just go clickety-clack, clickety-clack, and then I'll do the same thing here, maybe. We'll bring you in, and we'll bring you in, and then I'll take the uh, logistics road, connect you up to here and now I can start making them electromagnetic coil beautiful those will be made and it'll bring it inside of the matrix to start doing it nice now we just need to do the same thing for this other side so we'll just connect this guy up to there bring that over here take you out to that and you get to plug into there so I'll just take ahead and start making that boy 
Yes! It should be working. Yes! It's working! It's working! Circuit boards! Going in! Ooh, that thing's so pretty! I love that! The Matrix Lab. Wow, we're running really low on power. So I'll put that storage guy over here. Nice! And it's storing all of our whatever electromagnetic matrices. That's so cool! It's too bad that our base is running out of power, though. We definitely need to get more power with that thermal power, though. Mmm, that sounds good. Combustibles as fuel have a conversion rate between energy output and fuel consumed. I'm assuming this means I can use this coal right here to make lots and lots of power. There we go. Thermal power is researched. New thermal power station. Power generation facility consumes cons <laughs> consumes custom... That word to generate electricity and has energy efficiency. I like that. I like that a lot. I want to build one right here somewhere. Okay, so we can bring in power or stuff directly to it. I could just put it right there, couldn't I? So if I go ahead and put this in right over here somewhere, like that. That's too close. <laughs> we'll have to move this. There we go. Plug that back in. Go ahead and make that guy go over there. And then we'll grab this thing and put it right inside. That should be perfect. Except that doesn't have power yet. We'll make power. There we go. Do we got do we have power? Power online! Oh yes. Unlimited power. Just by melting down, you know, the, the essence of dinosaurs that lived in the past. Alright, so not gonna lie, this is pretty cool. We don't we aren't just locked to one planet. Check this out. If I roll out a little bit, I go into this mode. Uh-huh, which goes and looks at the other planets that are uh, habitable and then I can go into like the solar system view which shows like oh so we're on a moon of gamma craterus too and then there's the sun in there and since it's a game about building a Dyson sphere like you can build a lot of stuff I've just done like the very basics right now but this game is huge all right cool so now I have steel smelting I like steel because it's big and expensive and hard can I build steel now, please? I would like to build steel. Oh, I can. That's beautiful. I forgot that I have to have this thing, though. Whoops. Yes, there we go. We're making steely boys. Steel being thrown inside of there. Nice. That'll help me unlock the next level of technology trees, too. Like environmental modifications. And titanium smelting. There's red things here. Just wanted to show you this technology tree, too. Like, we've done very basic beginning stuff. But look how deep this thing goes. It's insane. Like, mission completed. We have to make whatever that is. Universe Matrix, which is all of the other Matrix. An artificial star? Like, how cool is that? Controlled annihilation reaction. <laughs> uh, we're going to make a halo, I guess. Interstellar power transmission. That sounds amazing. Gas giants exploitation. I love it. So I decided to unlock solar panels, too. Check that out. I got a solar load at nighttime. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but I think it's a lot better than using coal and, like, crude oil to power up my base. The biggest problem, though, is that these things require high-purity silicone, and in order to get that, you have to have silicone ore, which I have a little bit of. So I made one of these smelters here, and if I want to make that high-quality silicone, I have to get the, net to the silicone ore, which is fine to do. Except, uh, this planet is not a very rocky planet. I'm gonna have to build another smelter, connect these guys together, go ahead and put up all these things, slap in a power charger, and then in here, I'm gonna have to make the silicone orb. Now, that takes rocks, like straight-up stone. So I can put that in manually, but I think I'm gonna pull it out of a storage facility. That way, I can just slap in what I need in here, and it'll work great. Also, check this out. I researched flying mode. Now I'm like a Gundam, which is pretty cool. And I can go way up into space and stuff. That really makes me want to get drive engine too. But I have to have these red ones, though. I'll just have to gather my stones just manually for right now. Ooh, titanium ore. All right, so I went back and I collected a bunch more stone ore. Now with the stone ore, we can also create just straight up glass. We need to do that. This side's creating silicone, this one's creating glass. And we'll bring that glass in here to make these new prism things. And just like that, we got the ma electromagnetic drive, which is another research. Electric motor. Can accelerate a machine's operating increase move speed of a mecha in the initial stage. That's where we are, initial stage. And we need that so we can get an oil extractor. And we need the prisms to make plasma exciters. And we need that to create an oil extractor. I'm just hoping there's enough space on this uh, this oil seep right here. <laughs> I hope so anyway. We'll see in a second. Come on, buddy. Oh, it's so big. No. Why do you have to be so big? Oh, it's too bad. I think I can move this easily enough, though. Yes! Yes! Oil extractor is my favorite vegetable. Oh, that thing is huge! Look how big that is! 
Oh, that's awesome. Yes, there it is. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, now I need to reconnect that because I kind of destroyed it. Thankfully, I have a four-way splitter I can use. There we go. There we go. I made it work again. I'm looking forward to making an oil refinery too. Oh, wow. It's a lot smaller than I expected. That's good. And check it out. I can now make the plasma refining. I don't even know what that does, but I like it. Oh, and it takes hydrogen plus the refined oil to make crude oil. Interesting. And I can use crude oil to power up my mech. It's kind of weird. I'll go with it, though. I can also make energetic graphite in the smelter using the coal. So I'm going to take some of that out. That'll eventually go into these refineries and stuff over here to make even more cool things. Now, you know what else is cool? We can make the matrix, the next one, which requires the hydrogen and uh, this ed energetic graphite that we just made. I probably should have split that off the other way. That would have been a bigger brain idea. Let's do that quick. And there's this stuff. So we're going to build up that. And that should punch it into here. Yep, we have that. And then we just need to bring in the hydrogen. Okay, so I'm going to filter out just the hydrogen gas to come out onto this thing. And there it goes. Look how cool that is. Nice. I just need to hook up the last of the sorters from there. And now we should be making this red stuff. Yes, the energy matrix is going live. I'm going to take this out of here, and we're going to put it back into the storage thing that the blue one's in. Look how cool those red little boxes look. I love them. And we'll put you in there. Beautiful. So this is just going to be our energy storage. Uh-oh. I'm out of things. Why am I out of things? This is not okay. But I tell you what, my friends. I think figuring out what's wrong with that is going to be in another video. So thank you for watching Dyson Sphere Program. If you liked it, let me know. It's a slow game. But I can see this one being a lot of fun. So thanks for watching and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd also like to thank Ben, Alan Hagen, Dickie James, Otto Dave, Eagle Arc, Seraphin X, Desbogger, Maxer, Zarnoff, Noah Collingwood, Jason McFarland, Dagan, Paul Longstone, and Rao, as well as the rest of the Patreon supporters and everyone who has joined the channel as a YouTube member. 